Hello, it's Holly with Ivy Cole Creations, and today we are working on day 29 sketch for Christie's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches. This sketch was created by Laura Cameron Whipfler, and this is also a stash dive in the summertime hop layout. The prompt for the hop was use something that you just had to have but haven't cut into yet. And so what I used was the Minte Papers Better Time collection. And I love these frames. They are amazing. And I instantly wanted to do the layout using them. So I went through and I cut the middles out of all of the frames. And uh, I just used my X-Acto knife and my little um, cut apart um, pad and just cut them all out. I was originally I was thinking of just doing a couple but I had something like 12 or 13 photos and so I decided to just cut all of the frames out and cut them apart and then Laura has these um, chevrons and scalloped edges going across the two pages one at the top and one at the bottom and I decided to replicate that by taking this other piece of paper and just punching um, these strips. Each of the colors was on the page and it was kind of like a, I think it went green, yellow, blue, pink and so I just cut them apart so that I could get um, physical pieces instead of a flat page and I punched each set of colors in a specific, um, with a specific punch. And so I used my little mini scallop for the yellow and I'm using this Martha Stewart like doily punch for the blue and eventually the pink as well. And then I have a big two inch punch that I use for my green paper. And I just really wanted the different sizes because I wanted it to be layered um, like smallest to biggest kind of thing on the page. Once I laid all of the strips down, I then decided that my frames needed a bit more darkening. So I did use a vintage photo, Distress Oxide and go all the way around the layout and then around each frame as well and some on the inside just so that I could get a little bit more depth and a bit more warmth into some of these really white frames. I then proceeded to use double sided tape on every frame around the edges of the frame and frame each photo. So I just went through and stuck them all down. I'm not going to make you watch it because it took me forever. This layout I think um, originally took me about two or three hours, somewhere in that vicinity, two and a half hours, something like that. It took a really long time because I fussed with all of these pieces, really deciding which frames I wanted and um, which ones would work with which photos best. So eventually I get them all sorted out and then I get to play with them and try to lay them out. And I fit about five or six photos each on each page. And I know the sketch only calls for seven and I think I got 12 on, <laughs> I got 12 down. And um, these are just photos of my kids playing at the park. There's a park next to the river and um, here and they just had fun um, like exploring in the rocks and playing on the pier and running around so um, I really wanted to document them being out and about and uh, you know we we spent a lot of time outdoors during 2020 because being stuck in the house was just a lot of TV <laughs> so I did manage to fit um, Oh, I managed to fit like 13 photos on this double page layout. And so that makes me super happy. It's one of my higher amounts of photos that I've 
scrapped at once. <laughs> I think the biggest number that I got was something about 17 photos. And that was when <laughs> I was scrapping uh, the aquarium. And I managed to put a whole bunch of them into a cut file. Now I had these dragonflies and these acetate butterflies. The acetate butterflies are from 49 Market. These dragonflies I think are from the dollar store. So I just started getting glue happy and sticking things down. And uh, I cut the pieces of this one butterfly off because it was overhanging. I didn't want it to be on the other page. So I did eventually find a little piece that I used for a journaling spot. And um, I started looking at the pages as individual pages. And then eventually I tried to figure out where to put clusters because it's hard to put clusters on things when there are so many photos. Because usually you're doing either a grid layout or very linear so that um, you know so that you can fit the maximum amount on and I was really having a hard time trying to figure out where to put clusters um, and I just used the butterflies basically and then I decided to add some flowers because it was looking a little empty and a little scattered I I'm not a fan of like the just randomly scattered things everywhere so when I cut those frames out, um, there were images on the back of the frames. So I went through and I cut some of them out. There were two birds and like two or three floral clusters. So I ended up using the floral clusters and a couple of the birds to really fill in little bits of these spaces um, and try to make like true clusters in the layout. Um, that was the part that I found the most difficult was just trying to create the cluster spaces, especially since I was gluing things down. I wasn't just using ATG or like trying to stick it anywhere. I was like permanently gluing things. So I started using some halfback pearls and um, making like making clusters with the pearls. And then I went in and I found my halfback pearls in gold and I just started sticking them down and that started making things look like a cohesive grouping. And I was a lot happier with it once I was finished with this. Please check out the description box below for everyone who's playing along with the 30 days of sketches, as well as the artist of the sketch for the day. Um, all of their social media will be down in the description box below. Thank you so much for spending your time with me today. And please like, comment, and subscribe. I would love to hear from you.